Adding insult to injury, a Garden Valley firefighter hurt in a wildfire this week is now being laid off after a vote for more funding for his fire department failed. Burned twice. New tonight, CBS 13 Steve Large is in Garden Valley with a ballot count that came just as that fire broke out. It is an eerie image. A fire engine destroyed after flames from the country fire burned over it. It's Garden Valley firefighters trapped, deploying emergency shelters that saved their lives but left them hurt. Have a burnover with shelters deployed. When you hear on the radio that there's been a burnover, it sends chills down your spine. Garden Valley Fire Chief Clyde Savakul says he had to give one of those firefighters injured Tuesday a layoff notice Wednesday. And to be honest, as a fire chief, the two most difficult things are if you have a firefighter injured or killed, or having to give out layoff notices. And we had to do both within a 24 hour period. The layoff notices come after Garden Valley property owners voted down a parcel tax that would have kept this small fire district fully funded. The no vote means this small department of six full time firefighters will now shrink to three in this area of extreme wildfire risk where fire insurance is exploding in price. It, it's just been skyrocketing because insurance agencies are recognizing this could be another paradise area, which is what we hoped people would consider when casting their vote. For the people in Garden Valley who voted on this fire funding, the question came down to not just protecting their property, but also protecting their wallet. I mean, right now we're scraping at, at the bottom right now. Darren and Shelly Hewlett have lived in Garden Valley for nearly a decade and did not vote for increased funding. After the country wildfire, Hewlett wishes she had voted yes. I'm having second thoughts after yet after the other day. A community at high wildfire risk. It's been a rough week for our department. Now left with less fire protection. And the layoffs go into effect starting in June of 2020. Now the fire district is looking at consolidating with nearby agencies to save positions. 